uh, as you heard that my background actually comes from more technical side. But then when I was going through my identity crisis, uh, at some point I was talking to my parents, I'm like, like I don't know who I am. You tell, told me for this many years that you're a Sikh, you're a Punjabi, you're Indian, you're South Asian. I became an American. At that time I was Kansan and eventually Texan. I'm like, what does all this mean? So knowing this is the world we are in and I'm told that I, people sitting here, the students here, most of them are either MBA students or uh, they're coming from um, some bachelor's degree from a technology angles, right? Uh, engineering and management. So you're going to be technocrats. That's where I was. Harmony, again, etymology wise, what it really means is what is joining you? You know, we all have feelings toward an individual, whether it's a partner or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or parents or whatever it might be. We have glimpses of that. Othe har relationship panga. You know, when you have to act out that will, the love disappears. We act out something else. Similarly, you can say something like, although it's not exactly that harmony, I'm trying to go towards that idea. That we feel it, we want it. But then act of will has to happen. Oh, I heard one of the Nusrat songs about it. Again, maybe, oh, love angle, to na baniya chi jaya samaj aaniya ne. Aap log bhi wo jada samjhenge agar main hindi mein bolunga. So, waise wo urdu hai, but samaj jayenge aap. Usme bhi wo ishki baat kar raha hai, but dekho kaise keh raha hai. Kyunki ishk bhi log kar nahi raha hai, na dil lagi mein hai. Bhoat farah ka do chi jo mein, na ishk mein to, it's a deeper knowledge. And he says, तुम्हें दिल लगी को भूल जाना पड़ेगा मोहब्बत की राहों में आकर तो देखो ये एक आग का दरिया है और डूब कर जाना है ये जो डूबना है ना टू ड्राउन इन इट दैट्स डीपर नॉलेज दैट्स वेयर नॉलेजेस कैन वेरी विजडम डजन एंड विजडम एक्चुअली नेवर चेंज वन प्लस वन इज स्टिल टू as it was 100 years ago, 1000 years ago, but people love the Singapore method because they figured out a better pedagogy on how to teach it. So the wisdom doesn't change. People are desperate. That's the human condition. Instead of preying on people with an A, they prey on people with an E. You're getting it? Shikar kar rahe Out of the desperate, because they know you are not connected within. Same thing happens in the business world. They're also preying on you <laughs> with an ease. So if you want to have, if you, so effort part is once you have a method, a discipline figured out, and you are going deep in it, this is where you have identified a process. This is what Stephen Covey used to call begin with end in mind. You got to know where you want to go. So you adopt a process. You adopt a system for you, you go deep in it, now you give everything you got to it. This is why there is no balance. Bhagwan khush honge, hum par daya karenge. All religious tradition have some elements of that. But let's flip it. It's to me, grace is, as I understand, it's like sun. The sunlight is everywhere. Are you feeling the warmth? You need to feel the grace. When we feel something, it becomes part of our behavior. Then you stop saying, I'm not being graced. Mera luck nahi hai, meri kismat nahi hai. So these are the words, right? Meri destiny nahi hai. Then we get caught up in, even from religious to non-religious, you know, where does the free will start and where does the predestiny end? Nobody's been able to solve this stuff. That some people can't be graced. We say that it's a condemned. Hai. Inka kuch nahi ho sakta. And again, I'm interested in those stories, jinko ye bola gaya, unho ne karke dikhaya bhoat kuch. And that's global phenomena, truth. Now, let me be the first one to say it's a problematic word, okay? Because we live in, in last 10 years, they use a word now called post-truth world because of the chaos from this world. So it's not in politics. We are doing that to ourselves too. We are constantly lying to ourselves because my first issue here is within, right? The self. We don't. We lie to ourselves. You know, our truth is here. Our truth is here. Okay, but what is the truth? Is it your reality now? Did you figure out what really is sacred or profane? Because this is where the world is again. I come from a school. The method I follow. 
I believe there is nothing sacred or nothing profane. This is an absurdity of mind which was created to differentiate between people. But you don't have to follow that. That's where I, I am in my life. All of it uh, comes down to relationships. I know we like to say business and networking, but I like to use the word relationship. And for one simple reason, any relationship which is not developed all the way to the friendship level is not as powerful. So I'm not here to tell you what relationship to develop, but if you have had that relationship, whether it's as a co-worker or as, as a student, as between, uh, you know, adhyapak or shishya, whatever other words you are going through, or um, at home, you know, if dad is only a dad, then it's just a dad. You can be a multimillionaire and be on either side of the fence. I don't want that to become the criteria because it's not. And you can be complaining and bitching every day about how much you are paid. It has nothing to do with how little you also make. It depends on your attitude. You know, what are you trying to create within your relationships or in your business decisions? This word is very powerful. It, I, this was transportive for me. I'm not looking for external forces. I'm looking for making this reality into this. So it's an internal shift. It's a thinking shift. It's the attitude shift. It's the expertise shift, we call it. So you have a lot of aptitude, a lot of different attitudes, and it becomes a powerful phenomenon. Thank you.